trap plays an untapped or unreef last wood and passes the turn to Pine. Pine plays a Yavi Maya, Cradle of Broke, and passes the Hamster. Hamster draws his card and plays a tapped Balagad Recovery for his turn, and then passes the turn to John. John draws, plays the Mountain, and passes the turn over to Rat. Rat untaps, draws a card, plays a Firelit Thicket, and casts Rada, Hair to Kill. Passes a turn over to Pine. Pine draws, plays a forest, and casts Sakura Tribe up there. With that, he ends his turn and passes to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a breathing pool and loses two life, and then casts a Simic Signet. With that, he passes the turn over to John. John draws a card, plays a mountain, taps and casts Arcane Signet, and then passes the turn over to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, and plays a Carplusion Forest for his lands. Taps all four of his mana to cast the Lino, Wild Mage. With that, he passes the turn over to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, plays a forest, taps three mana, and casts Yavi Maya Dryad. Searching his library for a forest and putting it into play under his control. Sakura Tribe Elder attacks Hamster for one. He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a forest, and taps three lands to cast Yavi Maya Elder. He passes the turn to John. Land draws a card, plays a mountain for turn, taps two mana to cast a ruby medallion. With that, he passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, plays the Hanover Battlement for his land for turn, and taps all his mana to cast his commander, Wolfgar of the Icewind Dale. Delina attacks John and triggers twice, targeting Wolfgar. The first roll creates one token copy attacking Hamster, and the second roll creates a token attacking Pine. Hamster blocks what is Yavi Maya Elder, while Pine takes 4 damage and John takes 3 damage. Yavi Maya Elder dies and triggers to get an island and a forest from his deck into his hand. Rat passes the turn to Pine, Pine untaps, draws, plays a forest, taps 2 mana to cast Lightning Greaves. With his remaining 3 mana, he casts Lone Wolf and uses the Lightning Greaves to give Lone Wolf haste and shroud. Sakura Tribe Elder attacks Hamster, Yavi Maya attacks Rat, and Lone Wolf attacks John. John takes 2, Hamster takes 1, and Rat takes 2. Pine passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, taps 3 mana for an Undergrowth Champion. Plays an island, triggers Undergrowth Champion to put a 1 1 counter on it. With his two remaining mana, he casts a Growth Spiral. Drawing a card and putting a land into play, triggering Undergrowth Champion to gain another counter. Hamster passes the turn to John. John untaps, draws, taps four of his lands to cast Emrakul's Hatcher, making three Eldrazi spawns. He sacrifices two of the spawns and taps the Arcane Signet to cast his commander. Delina Wild Mage. With that, he passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, plays a forest for turn. He taps three mana to cast Tuya Bearclaw. He uses Hanwar Battlement to give Tuya haste, paying one life for Carplusion Forest. Rat and John make a deal that Rat will not attack John if he does not attack him back. Rat goes to combat and attacks Hamster with Wolfgar. John with Rada, and Pine with Delina and Bearclaw. Delina triggers twice, targeting Bearclaw. Wolfgar triggers twice to gain plus three plus three, and Tuba Bearclaw triggers to get plus eight plus eight twice. First roll for Delina makes a singleton copy of Tuba Bearclaw attacking Pine. And the second roll yet again creates only one token attacking. Hamster blocks Wolfgar with Undergrowth Champion. Damage resolves. Hamster loses the 1 1 counter on Undergrowth Champion. John takes 2 damage from Rada. And Pine goes down to 7. At the end of the turn, Pine sacks a Sakura Tribe Elder and searches for a top forest and puts it into play. After that, the turn is passed to Pine. Pine untaps, draws. Missing a land for Gnawbone, he passes the turn. Hamster untaps, draws. He taps 6 mana and casts Acery, Tyrant of the Gyre Strait. 
After that, he plays his island per turn, triggering both Ace 3 and Undergrowth Champion. The Undergrowth Champion gains a 1 1 counter and he draws a card off of Ace 3. He plays a second land due to Ace 3's ability, and when that land enters the battlefield, he gains another 1 1 counter and draws another card. With 2 mana and some help from Yavi Maya, he casts a Kenrin's Transformation on Wolfgar. With that, he draws a card. Passes the turn over to John. John untaps, draws, plays a mountain for turn, taps 3 mana to cast Outpost e on dragons. So now whenever a creature he controls leaves the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to any target. John now realizes that he does not have any other opponent other than Rat to attack without losing any of his creatures, so John breaks the deal he has made with Rat and decides to attack Rat with both of his creatures triggering Delina on Emrakul's Hatcher. John resolves Delina's trigger and makes two copies of Emrakul's Hatcher, giving him six additional Eldrazi spawns. Both of the Hatchers enter attacking Rat. Rat takes nine damage in total and three commander damage from Delina. After combat, John taps his three remaining mana and casts Fanatic of Mogus, dealing four damage to each of his opponents. After that, he passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, and taps 3 mana to cast Maid Slayer. Hamster kindly points out that he does require red mana to cast the Maid Slayer, and so the issue is quickly resolved. He equips the Maid Slayer to his now legendary elk and tries to go to combat. Before he is able to attack, John stacks two of his Eldrazi spawns, and using Outpost Heat, he deals 2 damage to Eula Bearclaw. Rat then attacks John because he broke his deal and deals 3 damage with Maid Slayer. John jump block and deals 1 damage to Rat. During the end of the turn, Pine casts Return of the Wild Speaker and draws 2 cards. The turn is past the Pine. He untaps, draws, plays a forest, and casts his commander, Old Gnawbone. He equips the Lightning Greaves to Old Gnabone, goes to combat, and sends all three creatures at Wrath. Wrath takes it and goes to 9. Gnabone triggers and creates 11 treasury. After combat, Pine sacks all of his treasures and casts a Genesis Wave for 8. In response, John sacks three of his Eldrazi spawns to deal 3 damage to Pine, and taking him out of the game. The turn is past the hamster, he untaps, draws, Taps 6 mana to cast Rampaging Bailouts. He plays his first land for turn, triggering Undergrowth Champion, Ace 3 to draw a card, and making a 4 4 creature with Bailouts. He plays a Snow Covered Forest, adding another counter to Champion, drawing another card, and making another token off of Bailouts. He goes to combat and attacks John with Ace 3 and Undergrowth Champion. John blocks the Undergrowth Champion and sacks it to deal 1 damage to Hamster. John takes 5 from Ace 3 and passes the turn to John. John untaps, draws, he taps 6 mana to cast Spawn of Thraxis. Spawn enters the battlefield and deals 5 damage to Ace 3. Before John goes to combat, Hamster casts Frozen Grip on Outpost Siege. John then decides he does not like his board, so he decides to attack with all creatures except Delina at Hamster, and Delina attacks Rat. Delina triggers and targets spawn. It only creates one copy, the copy triggers, and kills one of the Bailoff. The token created by Delina enters the battlefield tapped and attacking Hamster. Hamster uses his 6-6 Bailoff to block Mogus and his 4-4 Bailoff to block Hatcher. Hamster takes 5 damage from the air, and Rat takes 3 commander damage from Delina. The turn is passed to Rat. He untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, taps all of his mana and casts Cloth, Unrivaled Ancient. Rat goes to combat and attacks with both creatures at John. John takes 3 damage from Maid Slayer and Rat adds 7 mana in any color combination to his mana pool. John blocks the Ancient with his spawn and takes 3 damage from the Legendary Elk. After combat, Rat uses 3 of his floating mana to cast Architect of Aggression and the rest of his floating mana to cast Bear Umbra on the Legendary Elk. 
He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, casts Anilia's Intervention for X equals 5, dealing 10 damage to each creature with flying. Because of this spawn that Hamster plays an island, making an, another bail off and adding a counter to the Undergrowth Champion. Next he taps 3 mana and casts a Risen Reef. With the Risen Reef he reveals a forest and it enters the battlefield tapped. He gains another bail off and another counter on Undergrowth Champion. With all the creatures able to attack, he attacks John for exactly Leapful, putting him down to zero. He then passes a turn to Rat. Rat untaps and drops. He plays a tapped Raging Ravine as his land for turn. He taps 3 mana and casts Hammer of Perforos. Rat goes to combat, attacks with all of his creatures. With the Bear Umbra trigger on the stack, he taps his lands to add some more mana, then uses Hammer of Perforos to sacrifice one of his lands to make a 3-3 Golem. The Maid Slayer deals 5 damage to Hamster, and the Rada triggers adding 2 additional red to his mana pool. For some reason, Hamster decides that he would love to take all the damage. Hamster really wanted to show off his deck, but he had lethal on board, so let's just skip all that and announce Hamster the winner of this commander game.